Our lesson for today is about factoring perfect square trinomials. So this lesson is for grade 8 math for the first quarter and it is lesson 2 factoring based on milk week 1 to 2 which is factors completely different types of polynomials. Okay, let us first define what is a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is is the result of squaring a binomial okay so we have here an example we square x minus 3 x minus 3 is a binomial x is the first term negative 3 is the second term the product is um, x square minus 6 x plus 9 which is trinomial Again, this trinomial is what we call perfect square trinomial. Okay, let's have number 2. We have the square of x plus 4. It is equal to x square plus 8x plus 16. Okay, so the product is, or which is the trinomial, is what we call perfect square trinomial. Next, let's have another one. The square of 2x minus 3. The resulting product is 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. And that is also a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so how will you going to determine whether the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or not perfect square trinomial? Okay, so let's have this one. Um, of the first term of the trinomial and the last term or the third term of the trinomial must be a perfect square. Okay, so dapat perfect square yung first term at last term or third term ng trinomial. Okay, so ano yung mga number na yun? So we have 1, 4, 9, 25, 16, 81, 64, 100, 121, and so on. Okay, so those are an example of perfect squares. Again, so dapat uh, yung trinomial natin, yung first term niya, at saka last term ay perfect square. Okay, while the middle, middle term of the trinomial must be twice the product of the square root of the first and the last Term. So, meaning, to twice natin yung product ng square root ng first at saka ng last term. Example, uh, x square minus 6x plus 9. So, this is trinomial. Okay, so, yung first term is perfect square. Okay, last term is also a perfect square. Okay, so, yung first term is check, 9 is check. But, how about the middle term? So, how will you going to check? Whether the given middle term is correct. Okay? So, first, ang, ga uh, ang gagawin natin is square root natin yung first term at saka yung last term. Okay? So, square root of x square is x. Square root of 9 is 3. And then, for the middle term, we're going to check um, twice, meaning 2 times. Okay? 2 times the x and 3. 2 times x times 3 equals 6x. So, meaning the middle term is correct. Therefore, this trinomial is what we call perfect square trinomial. Okay, so that is how to check whether the given middle term of the trinomial is correct. Okay, so kapag hin uh, pag match yung nakuha natin sa middle term, Okay, big sabihin, perfect square trinomial. Okay, now let's try this one. Which of the following are perfect square trinomials? Okay, so we're going to determine or identify which of the following uh, trinomials is a perfect square trinomial or not. Okay, so we have x square minus 4x plus 2. Okay, and the other one is x squared minus 8x plus 16. Then we have x, my, uh, x squared minus 10x plus 25 and 4x squared minus 10x plus 9. Okay. 
Okay, para may apply natin yung factoring of perfect square trinomial, kailangan muna nating malaman na yung trinomial natin ay perfect square trinomial or not. Okay, so let us check the following trinomials, which of them are perfect square trinomial. Okay, so we have this one x square minus 4x plus 2. Okay, is this a perfect square trinomial or not? Okay, so based on the previous um, slides, first term and the last term must be perfect square. Okay, how about this trinomial? Okay, so let's have this one. X square is a perfect square. Okay, correct. How about last term, which is 2, which is not perfect square? So, therefore... This is um, not perfect square trinomial, okay? Because the last term is not perfect square. Okay, number 2, x square minus 8x plus 16. Then we're going to check whether it is perfect square trinomial or not. Okay, based on the given explanation or slides, we have... Um, x square, which is the first term, must be perfect square. Then, the last term, 16, must be also perfect square. Check and check. Okay, how about the middle term? Okay, so let's find out. The middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. So, we need to find the square root of x square, which is the first term, and square root of 16, which is the last term. Square root of x square is x. Square root of 16 is 4. Then, twice... Meaning, we, uh, we multiply 2 times x times 4. 2 times x times 4 is equal to 8x. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, nagmatch yung middle term. Therefore, um, it is correct. Okay, or, therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so next, x square minus 10x plus 25, a perfect square trinomial or not? Okay, so let us check. First term, x square is a perfect square. Okay, correct. Then 25, which is the last term, is a, is a perfect square. Correct. How about the middle term? Okay, let's find out. We're going to twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. So, square root of x square is x. Square root of 25 is 5. Twice means 2 times. 2 times x times 5. 2 times x times 5 is equal to 10x. Okay, so therefore, the middle term is um, correct. Therefore, this is uh, this trinomial is what we call the perfect square trinomial. Okay, so next, 4x square minus 10x plus 9. Okay, so the first term is 4x square. This is perfect square. Last term is 9, which is also a perfect square. But how about the middle term? Okay, they are both correct. How about the middle term? Okay, how will you going uh, how will you going to identify whether the middle term is correct? Okay, again, we square the first term for x square and that is 2x square root of 9 is 3 and then twice times twice the product of the square root of the first term and the last term. So therefore we have 2 times 2x times 3. So 2 times 2x times 3 is equal to 12x. Okay, so note that um, the middle term of the trinomial is not correct. Okay, so therefore, not much. Or therefore, this is not perfect square trinomial. Okay, so since alam na natin kung paano mag-determine ng perfect square trinomials, then we are ready to factor perfect square trinomials. Okay, so we have 
um, two steps on how to factor perfect square trinomial. Okay, so let's have this example number one. Factor x square minus 10x plus 25. Okay. Okay, so we have some steps to follow on how to factor perfect square trinomials. Okay, letter A, get the square root of the first and the last term. Okay, we have square root of x squared, that is x, square root of 25 is 5. And then the next step is to list down the square root as sum or difference of two terms as the case may be. Okay, so the answer here is x minus 5 times x minus 5 since the middle term is negative so that's why i use negative sign or um it is equal to the square of x minus 5 okay why negative kasi yung middle term ng trinomial natin is negative Okay, so next, let's have just another example. Factor n squared plus 16n plus 64. Okay, the first step is to get the square root of the first and the last term. Okay, so square root of n squared is n. And square root of 64 equals 8. Okay. Then next, list down the square root as sum or difference of two terms as the case may be. So, in this example, we have n plus 8 times n plus 8. Okay, so I use positive sign because the middle term of the trinomial is positive or it is square of n plus 8. Okay, so let's have another example. Example number 3. Oh, factor x squared minus 4x plus 36. Okay, so if you're going to check that trinomial, whether it is um, perfect square trinomial or not, the first term is perfect square, correct? The last term is 36, which is also perfect square, correct? Okay, but we're going to check the middle term, which is negative 4. Okay, we'll find the square root of the first term, which is, which is x, square root of 36 is 6. Then twice the product of the square root of the first and the last. So 2 times x times 6 is 12x. Okay, so hindi sila nagmatch. So, ibig sabihin, this is wrong. Okay, the middle term is wrong or, or not perfect square trinomial. So, we cannot apply the factoring of perfect square trinomial. So, we're going to try another method. Okay, I think you're ready for the activity. So, let's have activity number one. Supply the missing term to make a true statement. Okay, so we have the following um, trinomials. And then next, activity number two. Okay, so in activity number two, we're going to have, uh, we're going to find the factor of the following polynomials. Okay, okay we're going to apply the factoring of perfect square trinomials. So that's all for now, guys. And thank you for watching. And this is my YouTube channel, Matt Ish. Thank you.